QuickBooks Desktop 2023 Report Header and Footer Formatting. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop Sample Rock Castle Construction Practice File provided by QuickBooks going through the setup process we do every time. Maximizing the home page to the gray area, going to the view drop down, noting that we have the hide icon bar and open windows checked off. Open windows open on the left hand side. Reports drop down, company and financial, looking at the profit and loss tab we're going to say 010124 to 123124 for the range that's january to december customizing the report up top fonts and numbers changing the font up to 12 okay yes okay one more time with the reports drop down company and financials this time the balance sheet changing the date let's do it this way this time we're going to change it to the fiscal year and then I'm going to customize the report fonts and numbers and bring this on up to 12 again. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's the setup process we do every time we've been going through the uh, editing or the formatting, I should say, of the reports. We talked about the items that are kind of in the ribbon up top. Now we're going into the customization area to customize the reports. We're focusing specifically on the header and footer area. So when we consider the header and footer area of the report, you can kind of see the template down here. This is considered the header, the header, the footer, the footer. So in other words, closing this back out, this is part of the header, this is part of the header, and then the footer you may not be able to see in this report, but if you were to then go to the printing option, and then go to the print report and i'm going to look at the preview here previewing the report there's the footer that we are considering that would be there when you printed it out so we can adjust those closing this back out and closing this back out by going to the customize report up top going to the headers and footers and then we've got the company name that's up top that will be in there by default when you enter the company settings typically when you start the company file usually that's going to be the name you want but maybe you have a slightly different like doing business as dba name or something where you want to adjust it so if you put something like a comp like whatever on the end of it or something like that you could adjust the company name if you so choose if i was to do that then we have the company name adjusted customizing it again fonts are the header and footer i could remove the company name altogether so that we have no company name up top if we so choose customizing headers and footer put the company name back on we then got the uh and i'm going to revert back to the normal notice that takes off everything back to the normal settings then we've got the report title the balance sheet now we might change that, for example, if we were to customize the report, that might be common. So if, for example, if I close this and I was to say, as we saw in the past, changing the totals to a by quarter report, then now I might, I might say that this isn't just a balance sheet, but I might say it's a, a balance sheet by quarter or something like that. And so I could customize the report headers and for this balance sheet by, by QT or something just to show that. And then we've got that up top. I can customize the reports, headers and footers, take those two off entirely to remove them. Customizing the reports, headers and footers, I'm gonna revert back to the original. That brings us back to the original settings. Then we've got the subtitle. In this case, that being the, this item down here as of December. Now, once again, if I change the report so that I have different dates, 
then this as of might not work as well. So I might have I might have to might have to you know change that or remove it. You know I could just put 2024 for example. I could say 2024 and then say okay. So now it doesn't say as of. It just says 2024 and it gives me the range of dates down below. Or of course I could remove it all together. We can remove all of those to have none of those in the header. And okay, so now we've got none of those in the header. Customizing again, header footer, gonna put those, or let's revert back to the original. Then we've got the date prepared. So we could like to have different formatting on the date prepared. That's gonna be over here on the left-hand side. And then we've got the time over here and the report basis accrual. We might not want those. So we might remove those, for example, oftentimes we will here. And so I can close that out removing those items and then i can go back in there and put them back in place now notice if any of these are something that i like to have once i do them i might memorize the report so i don't have to do it every time then we've got the print the header on pages after the first page so meaning do i want the, to print the header on all the pages or not so in other words if i close this back out and i go back into the uh, print options and I look at the report and I preview it. We've got the header here and I go to the second page. I have the header again on the second page. Maybe I don't want the header on the second page. So if I close that back out, close this back out, go to the customization header footer, uncheck that, close this back out. And then we go to the reports again, printing the report and then preview. We could see on the second page, now we don't have the header on the second page. Closing that back out, closing this out. We're gonna go to the customized reports, header footer. I'm gonna revert back to the original. Then we've got the page number on the bottom. We're now in the footer area. We can have just the page number. We could format the page number in different formats. That's showing down here. We've got the extra footers. We might put our own little thing down here, hi, or we might put our name for example, in the extra footer so that we can have, you know, to show who printed the report or something like that of the company name as the accountant possibly or something. And then you've got print footer on the first page, same similar option as we had up top. Let's look at that, close. I'm gonna say, let's print it and let's look at the print preview. So now we've got on the footer, here's our little extra footer with the high, here's the page one. Notice that's also showing up on page two. Closing this back out, closing this back out, customizing the report again, headers and footers. So we can say print footer on first page. I can close that out and let's check that. So we'll go then to the print reports preview. So now we don't have the footer on the first page this time because sometimes you don't like to have the page number on the first page, but possibly starting on the second page in the case of the footer. So let's close that back out, close this, and then customize header and footer. Let's revert back to the original, and then we have the alignment. So the standard alignment is what we see up top here. We can align left, bringing it to the left. So if I was going to say okay on that, you can see now it pulls this over here and that to the right. If I go to the preview on the report, we can see it looks like this and the footer looks like that. Closing it back out, closing it back out. We can customize header footer. We can take this to the right. So now it's on the right. Okay. So there we have it on this format, customizing again, header footer. And then we could center it, centering it. Okay. So now we're centered. So I'm going to go customize header and footer. So the default is usually the standard is usually what, you know, pretty, pretty good for most people. So I'm going to revert that. And those are some of the customizations you've got on the headers and footers. So remember these title customizations are quite could be quite common depending on if you're altering the report. So if I'm altering the report from a balance sheet by altering the dates or having a comparative report, then I might change the title here and I might have to change the dates here. Oftentimes we'll just remove the date, time and report basis. These items, you might not want them there a lot of the time. And then of course you've got your footers down here, which you might put like your name or something 
on the extra footer, which could be a common kind of practice or some routine that you would like to be in to as the one creating the report or the company that's creating the report or the bookkeeper that's creating the report.